Brad says uh, RFK Jr. made some great points. Yeah. And did you guys mention there's one thing missing in RFK speech, right? Let's let's talk about RFK and Trump and the US elections for now, right? First of all, if if it's it, <laughs> if it's a legit election, if it's a legit election, and there's always election interference and this and this but if it even comes close to being a legit election the most votes the democrats kamala would get was around 20 percent right because it's 20 percent of canadians and 20 percent of americans which are completely low iq little rat, rat woke people that have zero understanding of life humanity compassion anything right or history for that matter right even if it's not a legit election, I can't see Kamala winning. Okay. So the Republicans, if you want to call them, but the Trumpites should win. But keep this in mind. Keep this in mind. In RFK Jr.'s uh, speech two nights ago, right? He talked about health he talked about food he talked about ukraine he talked about the economy he talked about everything except except the middle east except israel iran and lebanon right so that should tell you something by omission that is it that i said this multiple times that is UN foreign policy that is going to make or break the United States of America as we're witnessing right now, right? But he didn't mention Israel, as far as I know, even once. Because I watched the whole thing, by the way. Okay. He didn't even mention it once or Hamas or Iran or Middle East, really. Right. Why? Well, it's by omission and it's a hot, hot potato, hot potato, right? Also, Trump, Vance, RFK including Democrats, all the Democrats, they're all Zionist puppets, right? So you know what they're going to do, okay, when they get into power. Ukraine, the Democrats want to continue Ukraine and Middle East. The Republicans are saying, F Ukraine, we can't win that, it's done. It's over, anybody with a half, like, we call it over, over a year ago. And someone came on and said, what do you mean it's not over? I go, it's over. As, as far as military strategy war goes, that's over. Ukraine lost. It's just a question of how much territory they're going to give up and how many more people are going to die. That's what it was. That was clear over a year ago. We talked about it during our math streams. People were like, it's not over. It's not over. No, it's over, you morons. Right? Republicans want to let go of the losing hand because that's the way they're looking at it, really, right? The neocons are pissed because they don't want the Trumpites. It's not the Republicans, it's Trump's the camp, right? The MAGA people, right? They want to let go of let go of the losing hand, but they're all in on Israel, right? The Democrats don't want to let go of Ukraine and they're all in for Israel. Which one are you gonna go with? Right? Because no matter what you vote for, they're Zionists that's what you can get out of rfk speech by omission 